she's talking to me like I'm a fucking 10 year old who needs to be put in a timeout. I'm a grown ass adult. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a crazy, crazy story for you. As luck would have it, stuff always just falls right into my lap. <laughs> So I've been having a day. I've gone to Target twice today, which is already pretty annoying. Um, don't get me wrong, I love Target, but I don't have a car, so I had to walk there, walk back, and then walk there and walk back again. So it was just like a lot. And then when I'm coming back the second time, I'm like, I'm gonna get my mail, because I'm already downstairs. Might as well get my mail, because um, I haven't gotten it in a few days. So I see that the mail lady is still there when I go to get my mail, but she's been there for a while, right? Our mail room, has two sides and they're split right down the middle by a big ass wall and then you kind of go either this way or that way depending on where your mailbox is so i had to go this way and i'm seeing the mail lady is this way she's currently done on my side she's on that side with a wall in between us working um you know putting away the mail so i'm like <laughs> i'm more than okay to like go get my mail right now i literally walk right past her and she sees me walk through and go that way while she's that way. Um, and I start to put my key in my mailbox. I turn my key, I open up my mailbox, and I, as I go to reach for my mail, I see her out of the corner of my eye. Mind you, I just got back from Target from a walk, so I have headphones in, can't hear a dang thing. So I take out my earbud and I go, oh, hey. Um, Cause I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking at this point. I'm just like, oh, she trying to talk to me, I don't, I don't know. Dad asks, like after I take out my headphone, I go, oh yeah, what's up? Or like whatever I said to her, she goes, you're not allowed to be here. And I go, oh, oh, what? I'm so sorry. I didn't realize like I was in your way. I'm, I'm so sorry. She's like, yeah, while I'm in here, you're not supposed to be when I'm doing my job. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Like. I, I literally have already at this point probably said f sorry like five times. And then she's like, Okay, you can leave now. And I'm like, okay. Like in, in my mind, I'm going, I'm like triggered because I've dealt with people like this my entire life. And I'm thinking, I'm about to like not go off on this lady, but I'm thinking in my head like, why is she coming off so aggressive to me when I literally, I didn't know I couldn't be in there when she's on the other side of the wall and she's being so rude when I've been so apologetic already. So mind you, while this is all happening, my mailbox is still open with my key in it wide open because I was going to reach for my mail. So instinctively, because I'm not a psychopath, I'm like, okay, well, I'm very sorry. I'm just gonna grab my mail and I'm gonna leave, you know? Um, because I'm not a psychopath and I'm not gonna close my mailbox when it's already unlocked and open without grabbing, just grabbing the mail that's already right in front of me. Uh, because at this point, I've clearly already gotten in her way. So I don't know what the half a second it's gonna take me to grab the like three things that were in my mailbox. I don't, there was no difference. So I'm like, I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna go. She goes, the fact that you're still standing here, first of all, and then grabbing your mail after I express to you that you're not allowed to be here and that I don't appreciate this is so disrespectful. And this is like the one time I got like irritated. So I go, I'm so sorry, but my mailbox is already open. You know, like it doesn't seem like it really matters because it was already open. So I figure I'll just grab my mail and then walk away. And she goes, mm -hmm. and she just kind of like stands there and gives me the stink eye. Um, and then as I'm walking out of the mailroom, I'm feeling like I could cry because I'm a very emotional person. I don't like being yelled at. I don't really like confrontation. My thing with confrontation is I'm not afraid to confront people who I'm close to and who I know. Like if I'm gonna confront a friend, my brother, my mom, my dad, literally half of my family that I've had confrontation with, I don't mind that because I know you and I, feel comfortable enough to be able to express how I'm feeling. But when it comes to a random stranger, I don't like confrontation. I'm gonna be the most apologetic, I'm sorry I was wrong to, as I can be, because I, that's just not me. I'm not trying to argue with someone for no reason. I'm not trying to go out of my way to like ruin someone else's day. I don't know what she might've been going through. I always like to be nice to people because you never know what someone else is going through. So I hate confrontation. And I, so I'm walking away feeling like I'm gonna cry because I just don't like it. I didn't like how it went down. 
And as I'm walking away, our, our person at our front lobby desk is there. He's not even like a, a leasing agent. He doesn't, he's like a concierge. Um, he like gives me the stink eye. I knew he was giving me the stink eye because this guy has given me the stink eye already so many times since I moved into this building. And I don't know what it is or what about me he doesn't like. He seems like, okay, how can I say this without being super rude? He is a white male in his 50s slash 60s. So that should explain what kind of person he most likely is. And he just has that vibe. So when he is already consistently giving me the stink eye and gave it to me again, I got like really irritated because I really didn't do anything wrong. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to be in there. I didn't know that was a thing. They didn't have a sign. We've never been emailed. Like we've never been informed that while she's doing her thing, which she wasn't even doing anything on my side of the mail room when I walked in, she was completely on the other side of the mail room with a wall in between us. So not only were we more than six feet apart, but she was on the other side of the mail room doing other things on the other side of this wall. So my mailbox seemed like it was already done. Our stuff was already shut, like it was good. So I figured I was solid to go. So then I come upstairs and I'm already irritated because I haven't eaten all day. I've already gone to Target twice and now this happened. So I literally, unload word vomit to Christina and I'm going off. Like I was so livid when I finally got into the apartment and so upset, like literally holding back tears that I'm like swearing, I'm like yelling, I'm like, who does she think she is? Like I'm, cause in my mind, I'm like, do you pay rent here? Like then don't tell me what to do. And if you're going to tell me what to do, it was the fact that she could have went around telling me what to do in a such better manner. Like she saw me walk in. She could have stopped me when I initially walked in and not when I was already in my mailbox grabbing my mail. And then she could have said like, hey, do you mind waiting till I'm done? Or hey, can you just wait till I'm done doing the mail? Cause this, this, and this. And I would have been like, oh my gosh, yes. No problem. Absolutely. I'm so, I still would have said I'm sorry. But the fact that she was like, you're not allowed to be in here when I'm in here. What are you doing? And like, she was just like at, at a 10, like when we started the conversation, no, that's no, not okay. So I tell Christina what's going on and Christina being the more reactive person than I am is immediately pissed off. And I knew she would be, we're both very protective of each other. So we don't let people talk to each other like that. So she's like, Give me the mail key. I'm going down there to fake grab mail. And if she's still there and she tries to says that to me, we're gonna set her straight. So Christina goes down, the mail lady's not there. So Christina goes to the front desk and she's like, yeah, I don't appreciate like the way your mail, the way the mail lady spoke to my friend. And she's like, we didn't know this was an issue. Maybe you should send out like an email or be doing something to like inform the residents, uh, the residences, the, 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 the occupants, the people who stay at the apartment, that um, <laughs> that they shouldn't be doing this. And the guy flat out says, Well, I saw your friend and she was speaking so kindly to him and he was really rude and disrespectful after she kindly asked him to leave. Which did not happen. So Christina then calls me and she's livid because Christina knows me. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not a liar and I am really not confrontational unless you give me the utmost reason to be. Like if you, I'm not a confrontational person unless you're going to talk shit about like people I care about and then it's a different game. But if you're just having a one-on-one -on -one with me, I am not confrontational whatsoever. And Christina knows this and she knows I'm not a fucking liar because I can't stand liars. Um, so then she goes off. <laughs> and starts being like, no, absolutely not. Like, that's not him. She's like, I wanna to speak to your manager. Christina becomes a Karen. So Christina then goes to our first building to speak to the manager because this guy at the desk is not helping out and he's clear. He's clearly lying. I, there's nothing I hate more than a liar telling me that I'm lying when they're lying already because he was standing there. He knows that that's not how that went down, whatever. But so Karen goes, Karen, oh my God. Christina goes to <laughs> Christina goes to the office and she talks to the manager and she's like, 
yeah, not only was the male person pretty rude, but like the guy at the front desk was also like not helpful. We didn't know this was a thing. Like, can you, maybe you should send out like an email. Cause we're at this point, we're kind of over what happened to me. And I'm like, I don't want this to happen to somebody else because Christina's, Christina made a valid point. She's like, not everybody is going to be as nice as I was to this lady. We live, we literally live in a luxury apartment. I like don't like saying that because it sounds fucking gross. But at the end of the day, our apartment is considered a luxury apartment. I've seen some of the people in my building. If she would have said that to someone else in my building who is very, well off, very, you know, they're living in this luxury atmosphere. Not everybody's gonna be as nice and apologetic as I am. So we're like, she's, tr Christina's trying to explain that they should either put up a sign or send out an email to residents knowing, um, notifying them of what's going on. It was just an experience that I was like, she didn't have to come out of the gate being so aggressive. And it's all about your attitude and the way you talk to people. It makes all the difference in the world if you approach someone and you're just like nicer about it. And I get if she was having a rough day, this male lady, that's fine, but don't take it out on me because I was also having a day. Um, and I'm not, I wasn't even rude to her. She didn't wanna be so confrontational she could have just like noticed because she had already seen me walk past her. She, we literally locked eyes when I walked initially into the mailroom before you split off. Um, she could have just like let it go. She could have just, I was already in the mailbox at this point. So her like stopping me to say something, I don't know what she thought she was gonna accomplish. I feel like she could have just let me grab my mail, let me go and then talked to the guy at the front desk and said, hey, can you notify your residents that when I'm putting in mail, which she wasn't even putting in mail, she was literally standing there, um, that I don't want them in here or, you know, but like to go out of your way to just like start off the gate and be so rude to me, I thought was really not cool. And she was talking about respect. And I hate when people say, don't be disrespectful while they're being disrespectful because respect is earned, not given. I don't care who you are. She was talking to me like I'm a fucking 10 year old who needs to be put in a timeout. I'm a grown ass adult who's living on my own in LA. So um, don't do that. That's what happened. It was quite the experience. And I thought, okay, let's make it into a video because I love to talk about my problems on the internet and you know. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below for more videos. Also leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.